Okay, I'm going to talk a few minutes about some things that need to be figured out and changed. I'm here at the Loves at Steel, Alabama. There's plenty of stuff that needs to be gone over by this. I'm at their little RV park. Okay? And it's nice and it's clean, but there are some things that need to be fixed. First of all, this is the handicap spot. Okay? And I bought it because I got a disability. And I have trouble moving around. First things first. When you don't have a QR code that's not been ripped, don't have the first instruction be to scan the QR code. Nobody in a wheelchair is going to appreciate that very much. And they're not going to appreciate having their bench in the grass when it should be on the concrete. You can't roll a wheelchair very easily on grass. It should be on the concrete. That's what it's there for. got to get better about this the other thing that you need to do loves you have to have a better way of registering online because that system is a mess I had to go to the general manager of this to get my power which I paid for and if I get ripped off I'm not gonna be very happy you're gonna find out what a television broadcast guy can do Here's the picture of the ripped QR code. It doesn't work. As you can see, it's frayed on the end. You can't have that. If you're going to have a QR code that you want somebody to scan to make a reservation, you have to do this right. This is not the way. Another thing. I appreciate the RV dump, okay? If you're in a wheelchair, you can't reach that. You can't open that. You can't do anything with it. You need some sort of grabber or a cane. Here's another thing you haven't thought about. That's a clean out, okay? Which is it? Is the clean out or the RV dump? Neither one is handicap friendly I'm just saying things to think about 